So this hair is from Her Given Hair. I received three bundles, one in 14, 16, and 18 inch, and I also have a 20 inch closure. The hair texture is coily, which is good for 2C through 4A hair. So since we're gonna be coloring this hair, you are going to need some bleach and also some developer and you wanna have your gloves. I'm not a professional, so I don't really know the ratio, the measurements of how much ble bleach I'm using versus how much developer I'm, I'm using. I'm just trying to get a very uh, creamy consistency that's not lumpy, not too watery, but not too thick. Taking my brush, I'm going to apply the bleach to the hair, starting with the ends and then working my way up to the tips. I'll let that sit for about 20 minutes and rinse it out. And this is the color that I got. I didn't want to go too light, now it's time to apply our color. I have three shades that I'm gonna be using today. I have red, orange, and ginger. I'm gonna apply red to the hair first, and then at the ends of the hair, I'm going to apply orange. I ended up using ginger towards the end because I ran out of red, so that's why ginger is in the mix, but it worked out perfectly. Once I apply the orange to the ends, I'm going to use red to kind of transition the orange into the red so that it blends seamlessly. I let that stay in the hair for about two hours or so and then I rinse that out. Now it's time to make our wigs. So the first thing you wanna do is have your cap. I like a mesh cap. This one has adjustable straps in the back. I'm going to sew down my closure to the cap. You wanna make sure that your lace extends over the cap but that where the hairline starts, you want that to be right at the base of your cap. I hope that makes sense and you're just gonna sew this all the way around. You wanna make sure it's kind of tight so that that lace kinda of lays really flat. Now you see that the closure is sewed down to the cap. Now I'm going to cut that excess cap because we're not gonna need that. Cut that off and basically you wanna cut around the seams. You don't wanna cut the seams because then you're gonna unravel the entire closure. And that is what you're left with. Now it's time to really make this wig so I'm gonna show you guys the lazy way of making a wig. First, I'm measuring my tracks. After I measure my tracks, I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue my tracks down. This is a great method to use if you don't really know how to sew wigs down or if you just wanna save some time, you can always hot glue your wigs onto your cap and literally it'll last you a while. Most of my wigs I use glue because I just don't have time to sit down and sew and they last me a really, really long time. And as you can see, that's the ginger color. I applied that to the back just so, you know, it can transition. Since I have about three different lengths, I installed my shorter hair towards the back. So basically it went from 14, 16 to 18, and then my closure was 20. This gives you a more elevated look, um, less choppy, more even and fuller look. So that's why I did that. And here is the wig all completed. I've glued down all of my tracks. And if you have any excess glue, you can just take a, a rat tail comb to just comb that out. Now it's time to style our wig. I'm basically curling her up with my curling wand and I did this throughout the entire unit. And as you can see, those curls are super gorgeous, popping. Love the look of these curls. 
and this is how the curls look so they're super super tight but you guys know I love me some full messy hair so I'm gonna mess this up just a little bit I'm gonna separate some of the curls I'm also going to cut some of the hair so I can frame my face And then I'm just going to separate, fluff, separate and fluff until I get the look that I like best. And here is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to share with you guys how I make my wigs hassle-free. I love gluing them down because it saves so much time. Be sure to check out Her Given Hair for all your textured needs. Check the description box for all information in regards to this hair. And thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!